together with creepy holiday stuff. Um, thank you for joining. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching. Um, I wanted to make a wreath and I'm preparing for a pretty big craft show. So um, I kind of didn't want to go buy any more stuff. So I thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to look and see what I have and see what I can make. So um, I had this, <clears throat> this welcome sign. Um, this came from Craft Outlet. I made a wreath last year, a really pretty uh wreath last year with this sign and uh, when I bought that one I had bought this one so I've had it since then and I thought okay well I'm going to go ahead and use this so um, I haven't even taken this off or the tag oh, I could do that right now so I'm going to use this um, I went ahead and just hot glued some pipe cleaners on the back to hold it in place Usually I use a staple gun, but the staple gun that I have last time almost went through. So I decided to go with this route. And I have a 15 inch frame, a 15 inch work, work wreath frame. And I'm using 21 inch mesh. It's a um, the jute mesh which I really love. I really love it. It doesn't fray as bad. It has a nice uh, texture to it. And then I'm using um, 10 inch poly deco moss green mesh, which I made ruffles for. And I went ahead and pre-made the ruffles and I um, put the 21 inch mesh on with 12 inch poofs, just so you wouldn't have to sit here through all of that. Cause it yeah, is longer, time consuming. Though. And um, especially for the ruffles, I'm going to put a, um, a 12 inch ruffle in every single tie. Okay, so I went ahead and pre made them. And um, this is the last network it's still going though. Okay. Sorry, that was my husband. Um, and I put two on already. And one thing I hate is that I have one empty spot here for the jute mesh. It's like, dang it. So I have to get some more just to fill that end up. Um, but we'll just ignore that for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, no, I don't want the bow rod sitting on the very top of the wreath. No, that would look. Why not funny. the sign? No, the sign's going to go in front. We got the sign on the top. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting the ruffles on, and the ruffles are um, again it's 10 inch mesh, and I cut them 20 inches. Um, I did that in order. I would so I would get to use the whole roll if I put one in every single tie, and there's 18 ties, okay? And um, I have some greenery, which you might be able to see off to the side here that, you know, we're gonna put in there. And I pre-made a bow. And actually, let me tell you really quick. Um, this is what the bow looked like. And I totally forgot I had this really, really pretty green ribbon. I got this ribbon at a uh, paper smart, paper mart. And I forgot I had it. So I'm like, dang it, my ribbon was already made. It was almost time to come on. Hi, Jessica. This is a 15 inch work wreath form. And I got it from Craft Outlet. Thank you for joining. Um, so I went ahead and put a few loops in the back of the already made bow just to be able to see how it looks. I don't know, I might take it off, but we'll see. Once the wreath's ready to put it on, um, I'll decide whether or not to keep it. So anyway, like I said, I pre-made my ruffles. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. And when I start to decorate it with the greenery and the flowers, and I even grab some pine cones. I don't know, they might look cute, we'll see. I'll go ahead and put it on the easel so that you'll be able to see it um, better. And I can actually see it better too when it's on the easel. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move right along and put a ruffle on every single tie. And I usually twist it maybe one and a half, two times. 
I don't like to twist it too much when I'm using ribbons especially because man the ties the ties that come on here sometimes they end up really short and you have no room for your ribbons so now I'm just used to doing it that way and when I pre-made these I just took a clipped a little tiny um, black pipe cleaner to hold it together and I trimmed the back so it wouldn't be long so if you're just joining me make sure you say hi and let me know where you're from yeah I had no idea no idea what to make Luckily, I remembered I had that welcome sign, and it's like, wow, oh my god, you know what I forgot? I can't believe I forgot. I forgot the antlers. Uh, when I got home from work, I didn't even look for them. Dang it. I was going to put antlers on it, and uh, when I was at work, I had a mental note. Okay, when you get home from work, make sure you go look where you put the antlers so you can use them tonight. I forgot to get them. I uh, forgot to look for them. And of course, I forgot. So there won't be any antlers on here. Maybe after I'm done, you know, and when I take a picture in the daytime so you can see how it looks, I'll add the antlers. We'll see. I gotta look for them. I can't even remember where I put them. So glad tomorrow's Friday. So glad. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do because I I'm scheduled to do lives every Thursday and Saturday. And then of course in between if I you know have time I'll do one. Um, but I might have to remove Saturday just for a bit because I have some big craft shows that I'm preparing for. There's one next weekend, so I don't know if I'll have time to do a live this coming Saturday. If not, though, I'll make it up and do one before next Thursday. When I was thinking about what kind of wreath to make, uh, I actually first was thinking about um, a, this jute and a, a burgundy mesh that I have because I have this really pretty burgundy um, ribbon I wanted to use. And where is it? Let me reach. Let me show you. I even made two bows. Let me grab them. Just two little ones. I made these two little bows. But you see this ribbon? Isn't this pretty? It's really, really pretty. I love ribbon from Paper Mart. I got that one at Paper Mart also. <clears throat> so anyway, I did the ribbons and I have some burgundy mesh. But I didn't have a sign and it's like, well, I want to use a sign. So that's what I remembered about my welcome sign. So where are you from, Jessica? What state are you at? I'm in Central California, which was a beautiful day today. We had a little bit of rain and then the sun just came out and it's really pretty.
Um, no, actually, I use um, the Easy Bow Maker. I have a lot of trouble when I use my hands because I have um, osteoarthritis on my thumbs. So when you have to squeeze that bow when it starts getting big to pinch it and stuff, it gives me a lot of trouble. So I'm, I'm really grateful for that easy bow maker. I would like to get the, um, oh, what's that big one called? Dang it. That one that has all the little pegs in it that's like a half moon. Can't even remember what it's called. I would really like to get one of those. Those bows come out really, really nice. I watched Damon uh, make some bows on that and I was like, oh, I gotta get one. Hi Norma, thanks for joining. How are you doing? If you guys don't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you could share. Can you get the videos out there a little bit? I didn't share it to my group today. I was rushing around and it's like, ah, uh, it can be watched on the replay, you know. Oh, you're in Georgia. Beautiful Georgia. I love this time of year. Flowers slowly are starting to bloom. Just a wonderful time of year. We're finally getting warmer. We've had so much rain. California actually is officially officially no longer in a drought which is amazing for us because we have been in a drought for a long time hey norma i'm glad you're doing well oh dabra i don't know jessica i would spell it that way too <laughs> Yeah, I'm still, sometimes it takes me a few tries. Then I like to experiment and do things different ways. Norma, you're going to have to come by on one of my Thursday lives and come sit with me. Come sit and help me make a wreath. Norma is my very best friend. We've uh, been best friends since we were about five years old. Which is a super, super long time ago. <laughs> I'm doing good, love. I'm doing good. I'm just glad it's Friday tomorrow. It's been a long week. And I was just saying earlier, I have to I have my easel right here. I have to put my foot up because my knee is swollen. I have trouble with my knee because back in uh, the end of 2014, I fractured it. And then uh, on New Year's Eve 2014, I developed a very serious um, DVT, deep vein thrombosis. I had a blood clot that stretched the entire length of my leg, um, all the way up. So, by the grace of God, I didn't, I didn't die. I didn't get an embolism, and uh, it took me a good year to heal from the fracture and to heal from the blood clot, but I've always suffered with um, issues, swelling and everything from the, all the damage to the knee, and the stupid blood clot caused so much damage. I have residual 
foot clot in there. So I swell. <clears throat> it doesn't help that I sit at a desk all day and work. <laughs> okay. That'd be awesome, Norma, if you can come by next week. That would be great. I don't know what I'm going to make next week. I want to make something, like, super fabulous. I do have some, uh, I have a couple of unicorn wreaths in my Facebook store. I was thinking about maybe moving them to Etsy. I have an Etsy account, but I've never put anything in it, so I was thinking about maybe putting them there. Um, but I'm also going to have, um, next week, some other unicorn wreaths. Um, those ones will be uh, lower priced because the work wreath, the, the frame, is going to be uh, not the tiered one, like the layered, you know, like these ones from Craft Outlet. Um, they're like tiered level, how, whatever you call it. They're raised. So I was going to use the regular 14 inch frame and I have some really, really cute um, rainbow mesh coming in. So my kits for the rainbow unicorns are going to be uh, lower price but still gorgeous. And if you're just, just joining and you see an area on my wreath that looks a little empty, I'm using this jute mesh and it was not, I did 12 inch poofs and it did not make it. Just one poof did not make it. So I have to get some more. I have to get some more just so I can put that one 12 inch poof there. My husband said, oh, just put a bow right there. I'm like, no, nah, no, that would look kind of funny with just a bow sitting on the very top, like, you know, Christmas tree there. No, I don't think so. <laughs> so, hey, when you guys pop in, make sure you say hi and let me know where you're from. And I'd really appreciate it if you'd share, share my video or if you can't watch it all the way through, share it to your page. You'll be able to find it a lot easier. Okay, why does it seem like... Well, I don't know what happened. I'm missing two ruffles. And I know I had enough. But you know, the wearing, how I sit here and I get up and I walk around my table, you know how this stuff sticks to you? It could easily, one could be down the hall for all I know. I, oh, here's one. High possibility. Many times I walk around the house and my kids or someone will say, you got some mesh or that stuff you use or ribbon hanging off your clothes. Does that ever happen to you guys? It happens to me all the time. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not missing any. I really love this uh, moss green mesh. It's pretty. And it's poly deco mesh. Okay, so what do I want to do here? It's got weird on me. Um, I have uh, ruffles, 20 inch ruffles in all the ties, except for this one, which I'm probably going to find it down the hall or something. I'll have to look for that. Um, and I think now I'm going to start doing the decorating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, um, I think it's easier if you guys see it like me when it's on the easel. So I'm going to fix the camera and I'm going to put this side, the top that's missing that. I'm going to use this 
missing the mesh, the poof. I'm going to put that on top. Okay. Thank you, Norma. Okay, so what I did was, um, I went to Joanne's. Because like I said, I, I had this stuff already and um, I just wasn't sure what to do with it. So I, I did go to Joanne's and I, not Joanne's, Beverly's. And I found this garland on clearance. I just cut it. I don't, I didn't save the, ta the tag, but it's like a fern. It's really nice and soft, so I thought this would go uh, with this stuff. And the only other thing I picked up were these. Aren't those cute? I just wanted it to be really simple, not, you know, not too bright. I've been doing a lot of bright. So, um, I don't really have a lot of plan. I'm just going to kind of do it as, you know, go do it as I go, I guess, and we'll see how it looks. Um, I'm going to open these up because I'm not using ribbons in the ties. But I wanted to put um, in every other one. I wanted to put a little tiny pine cone. Thought it would look cute like that. But let me decide where my bow is going to go so that I don't waste the pine cone being covered. You can see that pine. Let me turn it a little more. I love the rocket. I put it on a lot of my wreaths. I just love it. And like I said, if you joined earlier, um, this green wasn't on here. I had forgot I had this. And I'm like, oh my god, and the bow was already made. So I just kind of stuck a few behind it. We'll see how it looks. If it looks stupid, then I'll just remove it. It'll be very simple. Okay, so... Um, I don't even know where to, I'm going to put my bow. <laughs> so the sign will probably go about, I think I'm going to do dead center. See like that, it kind of has like a hunting look, you know, with that green. But I think once I get the greenery and flowers on there. So I like them up here, but then again, you're not going to get to see the buck if I do that. I don't know. I put it down here. I have not made a wreath yet, I think. All my bows, or no, the unicorn bows are down here. I don't, I don't think I put one down here. I like them up here, but I don't want the buck, that deer, to get covered. Well, I might be able to uh, move the raffia around and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the bow on. Let me get the bow on. If you guys get a chance, if you're interested, I do have a, on my, I have a pinned post on my page of my affiliate link. And I have a lot of my stuff on there that I use. Um, all of it I've bought and used. But I have some stuff on there too, like my, uh, my pearl bead strands and stuff like that. Dang it. It's just not working. So if you get a chance, you guys can check it out. I want to kind of angle it out this way so that the sign won't be affected too much. I gotta turn this real quick. pain, but at least the bows are not as hard as the signs. I have a lot of trouble with signs. Okay, finally, got it. Oh, 
hopefully. I'm not going to put it on tight because I don't know how well that looks yet because I can't really see it. Okay, let's see. Need some fluffing, but... Can you guys see it okay? Not totally, huh? Okay, so let me get some pine cones on there. Wait, I should see what the pine goes. Just another. Okay, I'll figure it'll go probably about right there. So straight across. Okay, I was just trying to get an idea where it goes. So, uh, the greenery and stuff I put on doesn't get affected. I'm just going to use a good amount of hot glue and pop them right on the, the ties. Mm. You guys can't see the bow, the bow's facing outward. <laughs> do every other one. Or actually, you know what? The sign's going to cover that one, so I'm going to go ahead and put one there. I haven't gotten really bad burns lately. A couple weeks ago, I had quite a few. I had one on my arm that was probably like a third degree burn. It's horrible. I get it good with this glue gun. to do with this stuff is just kind of let's see get an idea first just like that gonna hot glue it where one tie is and bend it and just kind of glue it underneath the other tie I usually get burned when I'm doing this kind of stuff. Hold that there for a second. Now this is really nice. It was, um, what was it? I think it was regular like 14 and it was on 30% off I think. Anyway, I got it for like ten dollars. It was a nice size garland. Oh, you can't see the bottom. Let 
Let me do this. Let me push my table out. Okay. Let me know how that is. Now you can. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, when I get in my craft room, I want to um, have a different setup. Oh, ow, ow, ow. A setup where uh, you can see from a higher angle up to get a better view. You know, these ties actually complement the pine cone. It looks pretty good. I'm super curious to see how this turns out too. I'm kind of excited because it was just one of those not really planned out things, you know. Sorry, I'll try not to get in the way too much. I'm just going to kind of randomly place them at angles in the ties by gluing them. my big glob on there, it usually holds quite well. This one I'm going to glue right there. Okay. At first I was a little worried, you know, because how it's kind of light colored, really light green in certain areas. I was like, oh, I don't know if that'll go with the moss green, but then when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, it actually it looks nice because the, the moss green as a background helps this you know, compliments this. It makes it show up nicer. So, I'm satisfied. Yeah, I like it like that. Jessica, have you tried making bows by hand? Thank you, Norma. Yeah, I thought the, the color really, really looks good. The, the different greens, the lighter green on there um, gives it a nice look, I think. I was worried at first, but I'm really pleased with it. And then, too, I was like, oh, when I grabbed the pine cones, I was like, well, I don't want it to look Christmassy, you know, because pine cones, they have a, they have just a touch of glitter. But it's working out fine to me. It's not a strong glitter. It's just barely any glitter on there. I think there's enough just to give it like a little shimmer. But uh, it's definitely working the way I want. It's not looking Christmassy, which I didn't want. <laughs> Sometimes... You just never know until you try it. I 
unfortunately at the Beverly's where I went, this was the last one of this kind. I really like it though. I think I'm going to look online to see if they might have any more that I could get online because I really, really like it. Um, I agree with all the colors on each other. Thank you, Jessica. Not bad. I've done one vote. Go down from. Well, let's just say it needs work well. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of good um, YouTube. Um, videos that you could watch that will really help, definitely help you out. I have a, because I have a YouTube channel also. If you guys are into YouTube too, you gotta go check me out, creepy holiday stuff. I'm actually going to do a live on there. I haven't done a YouTube live on, uh, for my creepy holiday stuff on YouTube, so I'm going to try that. But anyway, Anyway, I have one video on there where I'm making a bow with my Easy Bow Maker, and uh, it looks very amateur, let's just say, very amateur. Okay, sorry, I'm going to be in front for a second, I just want to come over here. I just want to balance this right, you know. That one's a little long. One second. Okay, that's more like it. And you know, I picked up uh, those green flowers. Like I said, I didn't want anything too bright and crazy. And I had these little other flowers. Um, if you look on, if you look on these flowers, you see how it has the little color. It's like almost like a burnt orangish kind of. I don't know. My eyes are pretty bad, so it's kind of hard to tell. I have burnt orange. But anyway, I had these. They're not quite burnt orange, but then again, they look very similar. So I thought a few of these sprinkled in there might complement it. So we'll see. I don't know. Find out when I get them in there. Oh, let me know. What's bad about hot glue? You gotta hold it sometimes. And then it burns. Guys, this one is once it catches, it holds really good. And then when I put the pine cones over it, it'll give it extra, be extra secure. <clears throat> okay. Do I have left? I'm just trying to see. I have two left, so I want to make them count. Let me move this on I had this glue all over the place. So. I don't know, guys. I think it's going to look really nice. I think so. <laughs> I don't know if I should add those flowers because it just gives it a nice look with the green. We'll see. Um, I'm thinking I should go ahead and put my sign on. Just get it on there because it's a lot easier to decorate around it. So, I'm not going to move the camera. I'm just going to 
because I'll put it back on the easel. Let me just get... Oh, it's a big poofy one. There we go. Okay, that's not too bad, huh? Except for seat. Probably should have waited to put my greenery in because look at that, it's kind of mushy. And it pulled up on my. Oh, look at that. I'm going to have to put a pine cone in there. Or some flower. Maybe the flower I'll put there. Okay, so these are 23 inch teddy bear Gur daisy spray. <laughs> I don't know what Gur. Maybe geranium daisy spray? I don't know, but I love them. I think they're so pretty. So I'm going to have to cut this one down. Thank you, Jessica. I'll have to adjust the bow, and then when it's done, I can turn it completely so you guys can see the whole front view. You can't really see the you can't really see the bow at the angle that the camera's in. So, but I'll fix all that. Anyway, let's see. So I'm going to use three of these. Um, so maybe. <coughs> Just kind of set them in here and get an idea. Maybe one there. Uh. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a geranium daisy? Is that what the GER stands for? Because I don't know. Too much when stuff's like symmetrical totally. I like it a little bit, you know, not so symmetrical. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think that's too much on the sign, you guys? That maybe I should put them elsewhere? I love your input, your opinions. No. I think it might look funny, huh? Because it's too much it needs to go somewhere else. Dang it. Let me turn it so I can see. I can't really see what, I'm, what I've got going on here. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe move the flower that's by the book. This one? What do you think? Maybe lower? Like over here? This one? Oh, hi, Judy. Thank you for joining. I didn't see you there. I'm so glad you can join. Just trying to figure out where uh, where these flowers should go. I'll just like randomly put them in there, and then uh, I would love your guys' opinions, and you could tell me, hey, move that one, or hey, move that one. Let's see how it looks. So I'm just gonna kind of put them in here. Not 
sure yet how these go because they're quite just make it kind of erratic looking maybe. Mm -hmm. Once I glue it, it'll stay there a little poly. Where are you from, Judy? What state are you from? I just love it when the flowers are kind of random everywhere. I'm just sticking stuff in here without gluing it to get an idea. Now that you moved it, I think it actually looked good where it was. <laughs> Jessica, are you talking about this, this one, the bottom one? Move it over here. I'll wait till you respond because there's a leg. Hi, Maggie. I'm so glad you could join. Ah, Judy's from New Orleans. You're over there where Damon is, huh, Judy? So, Jessica, what do you think? Do you think it should go right here? Make sure the dogs didn't go out the front, guys. Okay, let me get some more, some more of this color in here. Like I said, it's kind of hard for me to see it because I have it turned facing the camera. So. By bow, yes, okay. Sorry, I'm in the way. I'm trying to get this one up in here. Did all the dogs come in, Code? Yeah. Let Sissy know that she can feed him now. We didn't realize we're at dog food. Son had to raise to the store and go get some doggy food. just kind of poking out. I don't know. This one seems like it's too far away. I'm not sure about that one. Maybe it'll look different when I add the, um, whoa, when I add the other green ring. Because I still have these two, remember. Norma. Be honest, you guys. It's not looking weird, is it? <laughs> I'm thinking I should put some greenery up in that area. It looks kind of a flat up there. I'm actually going to cut this. Cut this so I can use it in more areas than one. They move it closer to the bow, the top one too. This one. Maybe there. 
What about this one, everybody? Should that one get moved, moved in? Or, I don't know. Tell me your guys' thoughts. glue all this. I just don't want to hot glue everything in there and, and go, oh, that doesn't look good. I like to do this first and then um, and I can go in and hot glue. These bows that need to be picked up. By the E. This one. What do you think? Okay. Looks very rustic. And then stuff it with greenery all around. Okay. Let me put some of the greenery. For me to see guys like I said I can't see over there I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get this pine cone in there that'll help that little empty empty spot Turn it more so you guys can get a, a fuller look at what you're helping me make. It's so fun having help. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let's, I have a leg in my camera, so let's see. I think the bow is a little bit too much to the side. I have to tell you, you know, I am I am definitely missing something, and what that is is I'm missing a color in the bow. But you know what I can do about that. You know what I can do. This is what I can do about that. Watch this. Joining any of the groups. Um. Are you talking about the um, the paid groups, Judy? I actually haven't joined the paid groups. Um, I'm very tempted to, but it's a little bit hard decision for me because, uh, oh look at, see, I'm gonna put some flowers inside the bow. Um, I think Damon's group would be very good um, also, uh, Laura's wreath room, I think Laura, uh, I think her group would be really good also. Hold on, I'm, what? I'm sorry, my husband's talking to me over there, what? Why do you look so sexy? I'm, tra no, I'm trying to do this. What? Um, I don't know. I, I can't, I'll, I don't know. I'll deal with it later, it's okay. Anyway. Um, Lori, Lori Jacobs. Hers looks good also, so I don't know. What about you? Have you joined any, Judy? I don't know. What about you? I really want to. I just can't decide who, you know. 
And I can't join more than one. That would just be too much. It would be too much to join more than one. Then again, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm completely... Uh, I really want to join um, Jennifer Allwood. I listen to her every day. All the way to work, all the way home. Um, she's a business coach, but she's also very spiritual. I love listening to her. She actually is very motivating. She actually helps me get through my day. I love the way she talks. So I don't know. I want to join them all. <laughs> Laura's, yeah. Laura is extremely nice. She just seems so down to earth. And, you know, she really has, it's like she has time to say hi to everybody. And then on her creator craft room on that one page, um, I'm on there. And she just, she does so much to help everyone. And she's really nice. Okay, I added a few flowers. Um, I like this look. It's a little groovy. It's a little, um, it's just out there. I like the way everything is kind of going in different directions. Um, I kind of like that look. But I don't feel like it's enough. I don't know. I wish you guys could see it in person because in person, it looks uh, it looks a lot better than what I see on the on the screen there. Um, anyway, I have a couple of these, so I'd love to hear your opinions on these little guys. So let me just clip one. Well, that all came off. These I've had for a long time. They come in a spray, a little bundle. I got it from the dollar store like forever ago. But they're a green color, you know, they're, they're not that color, but they're a green flower. So I thought, oh, I'll bring these out. What do you think? Should I put a couple of those in there? Uh, yeah, I, I tell you, I really enjoy uh, making the wreaths. And I am um, mostly uh, sell at craft shows and locally. And I just started, I just put on my a couple of my unicorn wreaths. I just put them on, our, it's my unicorn wreath kits. I just put them on my Facebook shop. And then next week I'm going to have the rainbow unicorn wreath kits. Um, and then, you know, I got my craft show coming up. But that's normally, you know, I sell locally and at craft shows. So I'm slowly getting into the online selling part of it. We'll see how it goes. gives it a nice little pop because it's such a light it's like a light lime green um, it gives it a pop in there I feel like I'm totally ignoring this part of the wreath because I'm not over here um, when I get in my wreath my wreath room um, because of the trouble I have with my knee I think I'm going to do a lot of it standing, so it'll be uh, easier, so I'll be able to stand and get a better angle on the wreath, see it better. So I'm going to have a lot of hot gluing to do, which I won't make you guys sit through that because it'll be way too much because basically everything we put on here except for the pine goes need to be hot glued. So, let me see. I have one left. Maybe one in them. Or no, I have two. Let me see. I don't know if I 
I should go there. You guys, do you see an empty spot? You think you guys think that's good just like that? Well, what I'm going to do is um, not tonight, probably. I still got to upload my one of my tutorials onto YouTube, um, but I haven't done yet because I've been so busy. But I'm going to get these all glued in there and. Um, get the rest of the pine cones glued on the edges and um, fluff the ribbon and then t you know tomorrow during the daytime hopefully well if I have time after work if there's still sun I'll take a picture of it so you get a nice picture of how it looks and then I'll post it um, everybody will get to see it so thank you all so much for your help this was really fun I enjoy it when, um, you know, um, a watcher will participate and kind of give me ideas, too. It's fun that way. I really enjoyed it. So thank you all for joining. And thank you um, to everyone that uh, shared. I really appreciate your sharing. Oh, and thank you for all the hearts and the smiley faces and the wow. There was one mad face, but hopefully that was just a mistake. <laughs> all right, you guys, have a wonderful night. And thank you again. And um, when you see this posted, um, definitely comment and let me know your uh, opinion of the, the final result. And if I don't see you guys Saturday, because like I said, I might not be doing a live, um, I'll make up and I'll get one in there. Or I might do it. I don't know. I'll just see. But for sure you're going to see me next Thursday. Thank you so much, Janet. Thank you. All right, good night. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.